I would like to talk this time about the book Dreadnought, which I just finished. I don't have a copy to hold because I heard it as an audiobook. And yes, I will be keeping the mask on this entire time because it is a superhero book. And I just wanted to ramble and wear the mask. Because when else am I going to wear a mask when it's not Halloween? Anyways, um, this is Dreadnought by April Daniels. And I did enjoy it, actually. I have to admit I took a break between parts of the book because, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to listen to something else. And no, it wasn't any audiobook. I decided to listen to podcasts. So, um, my first impression is, well, is this really what goes through the minds of a trans person? And if it is, wow, that is very enlightening. I will admit to that. And the second part is, I feel so bad for Danny. She's... She went through a lot, and not just as a superhero, but as a person herself. Um, hmm. I, I don't know what to say other than just, wow. And, well, I kept rooting for her because I'm like, get out of that, you know, get out of that house, get out of that house, it's not good for you. I was kind of hoping the mother would be, you know, a decent person, but woof. Never mind that. Mother can rot in hell just as bad as the dad. Or just as much as the father, but... Well... Uh, I also really found it interesting to be listening to a book in which the main character ha happens to be a female in a very abusive family relationship. But unlike Zhu Wata... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna still mispronounce her name. Zhu... Wet Watan from Iron Widow, she calls in on herself. So instead of using all her, you know, in, instead of using the abuse as a way to fuel her fire, like um, Pilot Watan does, Danny just kind of calls in on herself and tries to hide in the shadow, you know, tries to hide. Which, yeah, I can relate. I can definitely relate to that. But uh, other than that, it's a good, I wouldn't even call it really a superhero in more of a uh, mystery. Because yes, she has superhero powers. Yes, she kind of has to learn. She's really spending more time trying to figure out who the bad guy is. Using more detective methods than outright superhero methods or like yeah and uh dark and possible i love i love magma actually i kind of love all the characters with the exception of her parents and that's about it despite gray witches um well it's like it's like you know despite gray witch I really enjoy her in the fact that I want to punch the living daylight out of her, and I wish Danny would too. I, I kind of am looking forward to seeing how the second book plays out. Um, I kind of also wish the third book was out already, but yeah. No, I am not going to listen to the second book right off the bat. I think I'm going to finish a trilogy that I had started last year that... Well, I enjoyed the first book, may have listened to the second book a little too soon after listening to the first book, and now that the I've listened to a lot of other books between then, I've listened to a lot of podcasts, hopefully it wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. Um, I'll talk about it when I get there, and I'll, I'll probably end up talking about the whole series when I get there, but needless to say, I do recommend... Red Knot by April Daniels. I also recommend the audio version if you need to. The reader is very good at doing, you know, that sort of 
uh, you know, well, I, I don't know. They, they just found a very good person to be the, the voice. And, um, I really wish I had more to say, other than I really felt for Danny, and I know what it feels like to go through some form of emotional abuse and just kind of want to get it over with, let them take out all their anger and rage and yell and yell and yell, and then just close myself in my room and hope to be left alone for a couple of days. Although I was, obviously I'm not trans, so I can't relate to that part. But I'll say this, my parents were never as bad as hers. And for that I'm thankful. So, yeah, that's about all I can say about the Um, Dreadnought by April Daniels.